Smell that? It's time for a swing dance reaction video. No. 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 Yes! Greetings and salutations. Welcome to Street Smart Swing. My name is Jamin Jackson, also known as the Galactic Swing Dance Umpire, and I am super excited to be scrutinizing another video for you today. Today we're going to be looking at a video from Swing Dance Grand Prix Lindy Hop Open Jack and Jill format. I'm super excited to be looking at this. I don't know which country it's from, so let's jump right into it. Okay, I got my eagle eye ready. This is going to be good. A lot of people have been cooped up in their house, so... We'll see what happens. All right, we got a few people in the audience clapping. All right, let me see if there's initial standouts. Obviously this couple here in the front uh, he's got the vest and the hat on. They're standing out because they're just right in front of me. But I like to look in the back as a judge. I like to see who can kind of do things in the back without trying to get the judge's attention. So I don't, I don't pay attention too much to this warm up. It doesn't really say a whole lot. Um, It's a good warm up. Here we go. I'm clapping, but I don't know what for. I know it's good, I promise. Okay, first couple. No names on the videos. Uh, so I'm going to have to remember them. Okay, that first couple was quite impressive for me. A lot of style. That audience loves them. There we go. <laughs> I like that introduction.
Okay, nice exit, nice exit. That sick of patient. This looks like round two. Here we go. Just, just come out and bow. Why not? to clap to get the audience involved or to get the DJ to pick the next song. I don't know.
<laughs> They're having so much fun. This is so great. This is great. This looks like the break. Here we go. Swing out. Yes. All righty. This, this is gonna be an interesting one to talk about. I really love judging this level of dance, so let's get right into it. First off, I gotta say big shout out to every one of these dancers. I love seeing couples get out there and just express themselves, mainly having a good time. I think that's one of the hardest things to do whenever you're competing is remembering that you're swing dancing and it's supposed to be fun and you have this potential to have a really special moment with your partner and you just happen to be in front of an audience. So big shout out to everybody for just keeping that positive energy going. I love that. Now let's get down into this one. When I judge this particular level of competition, and I would refer to this level as being intermediate, advanced, uh, and in some cases it could be advanced, but as a whole I would say intermediate, advanced. When I judge this kind, I have to really adjust my parameters. And I only really have three parameters to um, judge most competitions. Once the level gets a little bit more competitive, it really is about the artistry and, and how unique dancers can make those three things happen. Now in this one, I noticed uh, some of the dancers struggled on a technical standpoint. So there were certain couples who were able to do the technique better than the other ones. And what I mean by do the technique, I don't just mean visually being able to just dance, swing dancing. I, I wanna see call and response, right? So obviously there's elements of Lindy Hop that have movements that may seem choreographed, but ultimately when we're doing a Jack and Jill competition, the leader is initiating energy and the follower is responding to that energy. And I love to see that uh, connecting aspect of two dancers working together. And so in this particular competition, I will say my third place will have to go to the couple. Uh, she had on gold, uh, like a brownish gold uh, dress with a white shirt. And he had on like a red, it's like a red shirt with um, black pants. Yeah, what I loved about this couple is Obviously, they had a tremendous amount of energy, and I really liked watching the follower on this one, just how she was just throwing her hands out there and, and expressing herself. But what stood out mostly with this couple is that they didn't get stuck just doing the Charleston technique. And it's really difficult sometimes when you're doing fast dancing to um, not do Charleston. I think it's kind of a lazier way to move with the music, but this couple, went back and forth from Charleston to, to regular swing dancing and back to Charleston rhythms. And, and really for the, you, you all who are having trouble understanding the difference, it really is cutting a beat in half um, that will help you basically move in Charleston more. And so in competitions, I can see that more as a judge when I see dancers get more fatigued, they cut back on the technique and start doing Charleston as a default. And I did not see this couple get stuck in that pattern and so it was really refreshing to see their energy and their ability to be able to vacillate between doing the Charleston technique and Lindy Hop technique so big kudos to them um, I really like their timing too they had some good timing particularly at the end when they were just kind of moving out um, it, it was some good contrast so love them my second place this was a little different I thought about it for a minute and then I you know I thought who who did the technique and added a little bit more on top of the technique. And so after looking at it a couple of times, I concluded that for me, 
the second place needs to go to the the lady she had red pants on and a white shirt and the leader had all gray on i think it was like a plaid shirt and pants yeah so yeah this is him there they're kind of coming out being real silly on the intro um but what i initially noticed is that the leader is moving less than the follower this allows the viewer to actually see the element of call and response taking place of course this couple also went back and forth from doing lindy hop and charleston but ultimately i felt that there was a little bit more control with the technique with this couple and they were not ashamed to show me that they could actually do lindy hop it, i didn't feel like they were impersonating lindy hop dancers that is something that is really hard to do if you have experience doing other dances. Um, I think the hardest part is getting the tone right whenever you switch into Lindy Hop. And this couple nailed it. Like she was a little bit louder than him and I could see call and response, but I could also see some playfulness like the third place couple, but I think ultimately there was a little bit more control with the technique so that I can see that there was something happening between these two dancers and not just the dancers holding each other's hands and moving together uh, with the same energy. So with that being said, I've got to tell you, my first place uh, was pretty obvious. As soon as I saw the couple come out the first time uh, in their first set, I knew they were first. And I kind of alluded to some of the reasons why I, the other couples got second and third. And I think Ultimately speaking, this couple got first place because they did those other two things better than these two couples. I'm not saying that this couple had any um, wildly imaginative ingenuity. Usually that's the first place person who has that special move that no one else did. Um, but what I am saying is that this couple had the best control out of all the other couples. Um, they had some timing that I could actually pay attention to because their control was elevated so high. And this couple goes to, uh, I would say, yeah, here they are. Very first couple. They both had kind of brown pants on. She had a white shirt, he had a black shirt. Um, and I knew initially, as soon as they came out, there was just this sense of control. And, I, and they were doing some stuff you know, by themselves without their partner, and I, and I noticed that when they're moving, there's just control automatically on their solo dancing, but as soon as they get together, you can clearly see that this leader and follower are one. They are literally one body sharing energy at different points. It's very clear that when the leader moves or initiates that he doesn't move with the follower. Once he moves, he allows the follower to basically embellish the energy so that the viewer can appreciate their movement together. Um, it's beautiful. I can see a little bit of Lindy Hop. I can see a little bit of Charleston. But ultimately, I see both of these leaders, uh, this leader and this follower, maintaining the control of the technique. They're doing swing outs a whole lot. There's a little bit of silliness and style with them both. Um, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Now, a lot of what I would say I like that is really subjective doesn't really occur in this particular type of competition when the level is just kind of intermediate advanced like i said it's hard for me to look at those abstract uh reasons that i pick certain couples over others i go down to those fundamental things that a lot of judges would um, say are fundamental but they would probably use other words to describe them i want to see the control of the technique i got to see some beautiful timing meaning can they elevate the music a little bit higher so that the viewer can appreciate the sound but then i also want to look for creativity and in this case not all three of these couples had a tremendous amount of creativity obviously i could most of the things they were doing were the traditional moves i didn't see anything that was new but the thing that stood out the most with these three couples is that at the intermediate advanced level, most of them could do the technique. And ultimately, the reason that this couple in my mind got first place is because they could do the technique better. It was just simply more control. So there you have it, folks. That's how I felt about this competition. 
Uh, big shout out to whoever filmed this. This is so cool that we have technology where I can just eavesdrop on any competition going on in the world and see what's happening and provide you guys my opinion. So if you um, are wanting to learn how to do this and you haven't done it, I would encourage you to try it. It seems a little scary whenever you jump into a new class and there's other people there and, and it just, you, you feel a little insecure, but don't worry, this is a really interesting technique. If you can understand how it works, then it will protect you from having all of these unnecessary fears. So I encourage you to jump into class. If you wanna start at home, you can do that now with the technology. Check out some of my free courses below. Um, it will really help you unlock your ability to learn swing dancing without the stress. So it's a lot of fun and I think you should do it. You don't necessarily have to compete to have fun, but that's just something a lot of us like doing. So with that said, let me know who you guys thought was the winner of this competition. This was a really good one. I like the intermediate advanced level and I can't wait to see what some of these dancers end up doing in a few years, how they develop. So it's gonna be really cool and I hope they continue to compete so I can see them develop over time. Anyways, I look forward to hearing your comments below. If I don't see your comments below, hopefully I get a chance to see some of you in my class online. Take care.